I'm in California catching and cooking different species, and tonight on the menu are wild purple sea urchin. Behind me is the water I need to go to to get to the purple sea urchin. The water is freezing, that's why I'm wearing a wetsuit. You want to make sure you have a hood so that your head stays warm. I did not get one. As you can see, there is no lack of sea urchins underwater. There are quite literally thousands per square mile. One of their only natural predators, which is the sunflower star, recently went locally extinct, so this population is absolutely out of control. Oftentimes, these sea urchins don't have a lot of uni in them, and for that reason, I would recommend going for another main course, like a fish. This purple sea urchin can also be found above the tide. You do not have to go diving for these. As long as you find tide pools, you should be able to find purple sea urchin. These purple sea urchin are currently destroying California's kelp forests. If you go out and catch these, it would be helping the environment massively. The best way to clean them is by using scissors and cutting around the beak so that it opens up and you don't get bristles in your hands. This is the finished result. Purple urchin, but does he taste this? Let's see how he did. Very good. Very creamy. Purple urchin is very sweet.